This week on At Your Leisure, Gina and I are following the Tri-State OHV Club as we discover some big things in Little Creek. Then, Nick Chase is hitting a different trail as he shows us that even in the heaviest throws of winter, there is always a sanctuary at Tokerville Falls. And finally, we're joining the folks from Tracked Out Adventures as they show off an all-women snowmobile ride that lets ladies of all ages and skill levels learn how to shred the powder. It's all headed your way now. At Your Leisure is next. Check that out. There's the sand dunes, Sand Hollow, St. George Hurricane. You can see for a hundred miles up here. I'm looking at Sand Hollow because it's got to be warmer than where we're at right now. <laughs> hey everybody, I'm Kevin Mortensen. And I'm Gina Mortensen. And welcome to At Your Leisure. And look where we're at today. We're down in southern Utah, just above St. George. And, and what a beautiful area. But there's a really, really steep cliff right there. <laughs> I'm thinking 400 feet straight down. Gina's not afraid of heights. You know, I, did, I have decided since we bought here, I know what I'm going to do I with am. my car when I'm done with it. Well, I'm afraid of heights too, sweetie. <laughs> okay, right now we are on the Little Creek Trail just outside of Hurricane, Utah. And our guides with the Tri-State Jamboree said we're going to see some really cool things. They've got an Indian granary. We've got some petroglyphs, maybe some petrographs. However I don't you pronounce know, that. I can't say and look, it. <laughs> amazing scenery. So if you want to come to this spot and see this amazing stuff, stay tuned. We're on the Little Creek Mesa Trail. And the trail that we're on today is going to be about 35 miles long. You know, this is a nice area for me because there's not so much traffic out here. I can come out here and be more by myself. If you get into some of the other areas closer to St. George, it seems like that's where everybody knows where to go, and so that's where everybody's at. The cultural things out here are phenomenal in this area. Ever Mesa has them, and uh, just to be out here and to enjoy the, the beauty of it, well, this is my favorite trail today because I'm on it. <laughs> I had never seen petroglyphs that were right down on the ground before. Usually, usually the patina, you see it more on a vertical surface. And here it's on the horizontal, and, and there's three or four panels out here that I know of. Favorite thing about this trail today is there's nobody else here. Hey, because there's not a lot of dust when you don't have 30 machines. It's just nice to have a nice little private party. There's a lot of things out here. Uh, we saw a cultural site right here with the granary and stuff. Uh, we're going to find some water glyphs, and water glyphs are interesting. Not very many people can even have even heard of them, let alone be able to tell you what they are. And the scenery out here is incredible. Keep the area clean. Uh, if you're in one of the new razors or can-ams that goes really fast, just remember that somebody might be right around the next curve and you don't want to run into them. Okay, look, Gina, this is what they brought us up here to see. You ever seen petroglyphs in the floor? I have actually never seen this before. Look at that. He's a, 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 There's a bow and arrow, bow you guys. Arrow. There's a bow and arrow. Really cool stuff. So, so we, 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 we headquartered in base camp. We parked our truck down in Apple Valley at the Chevron. Yes. And we made our way up these trails. This is some really cool stuff up here. And I really have never seen this. Uh, it must be short people doing this. Or is it the fact there's no walls? <laughs> I don't know. I'm not an expert. It's not something I'd ever do, but I definitely need to get some pictures. That's right. We're going to tell you guys how to get here. You need to come up and check this out for yourself. This is really cool. 
and we're going to send you guys off to this week's wear too, and we're going to go look at more of these. Sometimes southern Utah feels like it's in a world of its very own. Short, mild winters and comfortable, temperate conditions during the spring and fall make it ideal for enjoying the outdoors almost any day of the year. There exists a spot that is a perfect representation of this and where the water runs all year round. Just outside of Tokerville, Utah, you too can enjoy this small slice of paradise. The trail that we've just been on is the trail out to Tokerville Falls, and it comes out of uh, the town of Tokerville. And from the town of Tokerville to the falls, we're it's about six miles, roughly. It's got a diversity of uh, terrain. You've got some dirt road, um, you've got the uh, rocks, um, you've got the water crossings that we've gone through. Um, if you only have a few hours, you can very easily ride from Tokerville up through the falls and back in a couple of hours. Um, you can take your time, spend the day, you can camp up here. There is just so much to see and the, you know, it's just gorgeous. It, the time of day, the way the sun hits these cliffs constantly changes your viewpoint. The difference in topography through the trail also creates several different habitats that anyone will enjoy. From high desert landscapes to fertile washes and of course, pristine streams and waterfalls. Can't beat the scenery <laughs> and definitely this overlook up here. Yeah. Um, and the falls are wonderful. It's one of those places we do bring everybody when they come from somewhere else. <laughs> so that's always cool. It's beautiful up there. I like the water and I'll go down over the falls and see the little kids up there playing in it. You know, it just, it's awesome. Even though where you're going seems to be the focal point of the trail, this is one ride that the journey can be just as fun as the destination. Two main trails connect you to the falls, a high road that features a more relaxing and scenic experience, and a lower road filled with rocks, rivers, and excitement. The trail itself is a unmaintained road. It's not a county road, and it can get pretty rough in spots. Uh, when we came onto the road in Tokerville, there's a sign there that says high clearance vehicles recommended. It means it. This is definitely uh, southern Utah where we grow rocks in the roads, but there's nice trails too. Uh, a couple little challenging spots. Um, there's workarounds around most of it, so you can, uh, whatever level of riding you want to do. <laughs> the best way to experience all of this fun is by basing out of Laverkin. This small town has just about everything you need, from places to stay and eat, to gas and groceries. While you're in town, you can even view the Virgin River or visit Zion National Park. And don't worry about the best way to get to the trailhead, Brad will fill you in. Just right below us is Interstate 15. Exit 27 is also called Anderson Junction. It's the exit for Tokerville. Um, that takes you right into Tokerville, and just as you come into Tokerville, you have access to Spring Street, which will bring you right up here to the falls. And if you're bringing a trailer, there is plenty of room for staging just off the dirt road. But no matter how you like to get outside, Tokerville Falls is one place you cannot afford to miss. Spring, summer, winter, or fall, it's there to be enjoyed all year round. For At Your Leisure and this week's Where To, I'm Nick Chase. Now that's a where to location that you definitely don't want to miss. It sounds like fun, but right now we're enjoying Little Creek. And then to enjoy this place, you need a base camp. You do, and so we're going to give you the details on that when we come back to At Your Leisure. Isn't it time to slow down? To enjoy the view. To get some space and to social distance. There's no better place to be than on the trails. Visit TooilaCountyTrails.com for your next adventure. Reason number 25 to spend the night in Duchesne County. The Hannah Hilton. It's a one-stop shop for delicious food, all-night fun, and a blissful night's rest in a hotel that is full of history. You can even take a piece of history with you with a hand-carved piece of luminescent honeycomb calcite from Shamrock Mines. Discover all the reasons to spend the night in Duchesne County at uintabasin.org. Coming down into the little valley and stuff, you can look over the whole thing. For me, I can just feel the, the stress just kind of melt away. 
There's so many trails to go up on and, and explore. The desert and then you've got the lake, you've got the mountains. It's just a little bit of everything. It's a little piece of paradise out here. Pretty much anybody that I've brought up here, they will ask, can we come back? At Stedman's Recreation, trucks are arriving daily with back-ordered side-by-sides, ATVs, and dirt bikes. Let Stedman's Recreation help get you outside so you can explore and create memories to last a lifetime. Call or stop by Stedman's to hold your side-by-side, -side, ATV, or dirt bike with a small deposit. Yamaha, Honda, Polaris, and Beta. Plus, Stedman's has a full service department and Honda power equipment. Stedman's Recreation in Tooele. You may think it's 300 miles out here, but remember, it's only 30 miles back. Welcome back to At Your Leisure. It's time for another Butter Steaks cooking class. We are going to make what Rhea calls Chad's Wing It Steak. <laughs> and of course, you can't go wrong because you always start with the best ingredient, which is Yardley Premium Beef T-Bone Steak. The best. So this is a McCormick's uh, brown sugar and bourbon rub. And then we're gonna use Costco's original sweet mesquite. Let's go ahead and get started on this. We're gonna get it, get it a nice, about two tablespoons of this stuff. And you flip it over, and you just kind of, you just kind of rub it down into the end of the meat there. Then you take a little bit of the mesquite, about the same thing, equal amounts. Okay, so after you let this uh, seasoning sit on here for oh an hour or so, now you want to add the secret ingredient. In fact, and you what turn on it? the turn on the oven to broil. So you can okay. do that. Just gonna put a little soy sauce right on here. Oh, yummy! And and then just a dash of black. You want to put your cast iron your pan. skillet in there. Okay. Now while you're letting that warm up, time to do the side dishes. And by popular demand. People wanted us to show them how to do the cream corn again. So this is Lowry Steakhouse cream corn recipe, and it oh. starts with a little bit of a root. Okay, so you want to take these ingredients, the salt, the butter, and the flour, and you want to make a roux. You want to give enough time so that you cook that flour down, and this, is, this will help thicken the mixture. Once we get this roux made, we're going to transfer the roux into this pan right here. So you add, the, you add the three cups of corn, which happens to just conveniently come out to be a 24 ounce bag of frozen corn. Yeah. You add the cream. Okay, so now we've got this boiling. You want the cream temperature up there so that your sugar will dissolve. You just sprinkle the sugar in there. It's just about the right texture mm. you want for cream corn. Then you pour it into a casserole like this. So right. we're just gonna pour this whole thing right in here. Oh, yeah. Okay, now we're going to get some Parmesan cheese. And you place it on here. And then you're gonna broil it. Would broil you it that? until this goes golden brown on you. So now we're going to take this, we're gonna put it in the oven. Okay, And, and this in is the, the tricky part. We have that cast iron pan, it's at 550 degrees along with the broiler. Look at that, pull, okay. We're just gonna pull this out. And we're gonna drop this in here. Boom, listen to that listen sizzle. Listen to the sizzle. Okay. Oh my gosh, it's gorgeous. So there you go. There's a nice, juicy, medium rare steak right there. So we're gonna get the corn out right now. And look at that. Okay, there you have it. So um, there's not enough for you, <laughs> but you can try it. And I recommend you do. If you want the recipe, it's pretty simple for both dishes. You go to butter-steaks.com. You'll find the recipe there. Remember, you can also find out there how to get Yardley Premium Beef. And uh, that's it. We'll see you. see you next time. That's right. We'll be right back. More at your leisure. Yes, the great outdoors is wide open, so why not make the most of it? 
Expand your family's freedom with the off-road's best. Like the only built-in GPS that doesn't require a cell connection. And group tracking that lets you spread out and stay together. Upgrade your ride for as little as $5 a day. Polaris. Think outside. Sick of staying home? Getting outside and exploring great open spaces is now more important than ever. Spend your summer exploring Tula Valley, where there is so much so close. Plan your escape now at TulaValley.org. The Old West is still alive in Jueb County. Stories of the past are hidden in the desert mountains. From relics of mining history to places of outlaw mystery, tall tales to be discovered and buried treasure to be uncovered. Jueb, the key county of Utah. Well, welcome back to At Your Leisure. You know, as we go around the state and we highlight the really cool ATV trails, and this year we're highlighting 50 of the best trails in the state, there's something they all have in common, and that is they're close to a really cool town where you can do cool things. You know, as a recreator, one of the most important things you can do when you come into other people's towns is to use their towns. So we're here at the, at the Hurricane Valley Pioneer Heritage Park in Hurricane. And today we spent the day out on the trail some absolutely beautiful scenery, some amazing things. We had a great tour guide. And look at my kid. She's running around, she's having a good time. But we're gonna, we're down in town. We wanna show you just a little bit about what Hurricane Valley has to offer. There is every service that you can imagine. Today we, we were on a, a machine from Chad Dalton at, at Southern Utah Adventure Center. That was one of the best machines I've ever rented. And when it comes down to lodging, They've got it all. You, they've got RV parks, they've got some really nice hotels, they've even got old hotels, they've got new hotels, plus the Airbnbs, whether it be gas, whether it be just stopping at the grocery store, whether it's getting a hotel room for a couple of nights or bringing that RV down, make sure you come into these small towns. Now, Hurricane is a small town, but this, as, as the year progresses, we're gonna go into some even smaller towns that are gonna be even more reliant on this and spend your money, buy your gas, pick up a sandwich, go to the grocery store at the local store, get to know the local people, because you know what, then they're gonna wanna welcome us back. What a great little town though. Hurricane, today, thank you for being such a great host. We've had a, a, a remarkable time, absolutely a fun time today. Did you have fun out on the trail? You know, no trip is complete without great food, and when we knew we were coming down Hurricane Valley, we asked our guides where to eat, and they gave us the names of a couple of great barbecue joints, heard some good things about them, but if you're the, a restaurant owner here in Hurricane, and you want us to come check out your restaurant, go online, shoot us a message and let us know who you are and where you're at and we'll come visit you and we'll eat your food. And, but you know what? Um, I think we're ready to go eat. Well, I think we've decided on the Main Street Cafe. The locals have given this uh, two thumbs up. So when you come to a small town, especially Hurricane, make sure you visit the small local joints or the big joints, I don't care, but spend some money here and have a good time. We're gonna go inside and eat. We're gonna send you guys off to this week's Along the Way, sponsored by Rocky Mountain ATV. Hey everyone, my name is Kat Kennedy and I am the social media manager for At Your Leisure. Now, typically I'm stuck behind a desk, not in front of a camera, but today I heard that we were out here in the Soapstone Basin with Tracked Out Adventures for Babe's Shred Pow, which is an all-female backcountry snowmobile tour, and I was not about to miss out. Now for a first timer, snowmobiling can be a bit intimidating. You may not have the gear you need or know where to go. You might not even have a machine to ride, but with an awesome outfitter like Tracked Out Adventures, you can let them know your needs and they will hook you up. Uh, we started about four years ago and we, we started with motorcycle guiding and then uh, the following year we got into snowmobile guiding and uh, we offer motorcycle, snowmobile, 
And then the side-by-side -side stuff is, you know, something we're kind of just getting into, more trail and family friendly. So I showed up here today with none of this great gear that I'm wearing. They completely outfitted me with this top of the line climb gear and they're hooking me up with all this great equipment too. And they won't just provide you with the best equipment. They will also instruct you on how to operate the machine as well as to make sure you're learning how to stay safe in the backcountry. So we'll start at the trailer. We'll do a safety debrief. We always go over avalanche conditions, weather conditions for the day. Um, introductions for everyone, make sure everyone feels comfortable with the situation, get you acquainted with your snowmobile for the day. We usually ride out around 10, uh, work at people's pace and skill levels, so we take as many breaks as we need throughout the day. And on the Babe Shred Pal, the whole goal of Tracked Out Adventures is to get the ladies to experience some seriously sick backcountry exploration. It's usually a little bit of a trail ride, and then we always make sure that we get the clients to some sort of fresh spot with uh, where they can get fresh tracks of powder. And of course, it's important that the ladies overcome any fears or doubts that they have. And they do this by creating a positive environment that supports women of all skill levels to recognize their advantages on a snowmobile. So women have the advantage of following directions really well. Um, so they'll stop and they'll always think through the situation, follow directions really well, um, rather than just impulsively going on their own. So certainly size is a big thing with women and, and strength is often a um, disadvantage but we have a lot of techniques and skills that we can learn to overcome those disadvantages. This is exactly what I was hoping to experience today. A lot of supportive girls who are out here to have fun, helping someone who it's their first time, having a great day out in this fresh powder together and learning some skills and building some confidence. I think for girls to be out with other girls and realize that we can all do this on our own, we don't need a man, we can do it sometimes better than a man can um, on our own, which is awesome. I was outside of my comfort zone the entire time. <laughs> I'm from Florida, this is nothing like anything I've ever done. And obviously you can see there's some steep hills and you know, t fresh trails, but I mean, just nothing like I've ever done before. So. I'm just really grateful for the experience and grateful for a supportive group of women who are here to guide me through it. Once you're ready to challenge your skills and experience the thrill of the backcountry for yourself, visit trackedoutadventures.com to book your customized adventure. These ladies will provide you with everything you need and all the confidence in the world for an amazing and empowering experience. For Astro Leisure, I'm Kat Kennedy. Hey honey, have you seen this tire? Do you think we'll make it? Not on that thing. Don't let bad tires ruin your trip. With service stations at every location along I-15, we can get you back on the road with fast, friendly, professional service. Eagle's Landing has everything you need along the way. Even the things you didn't know you'd need. Get ready for the road at Eagle's Landing. My daughter and I had just finished a run at this place called Eagle Point. It's this really cool, but kind of challenging ski resort that has a real family feel to it. She was so excited because she beat me down the run. Deja vu. I saw myself as a kid out skiing my mom. It was a big moment for me. And all of a sudden it hit me. I was making the same memories for her. Make Marysvale your hub for adventure. Nestled in the Tusher Mountains with direct access to the Bayou Trail. Explore history from Miner's Park to Butch Cassidy's Cabin, while blazing trails from mountain peaks 
to the shores of Otter Creek. We're here on Little Creek Mountain on the Little Creek Trail and we have stopped at the granary and we have a little bit of sadness because it's not it's destroyed. Yeah, you, you're telling us that, that this is something you wanted us to see, but it's there's problems with it. Yeah, you don't see a lot of lot structures like this out here. Uh, years ago it used to be a lot more impressive, but someone's come out and pulled part of it down. Now that's really sad because you're local and you want people to come out here and enjoy this, but we also want them to come out here and respect it. You know, if if we tear these things down now, they're not gonna be here for our kids. Absolutely, it's been here hundreds of years. We needs to stay. And, and this is something you can actually walk right up to and take pictures, but you know what, please don't touch it. Now, I wasn't gonna go there until I, until we talked about that. I wasn't gonna tell you how to get here. So tell us how to get here. Well, from Hurricane, you take Highway 59, uh, head toward Kanab. When you get to Apple Valley, go about a mile and a half past the Chevron Station and hang a right. Go past the Cinder Knoll, get you a map, and come out toward uh, the uh, Overlook out here. Yeah, I know that there's GPS tracks available. There's several locations for or resources for maps. And if you have any kind of OHV whatsoever, you can make this trail. It's a, it, there's a lot of great scenery and a lot of cool things to see. So. Okay, well, you check out next week's show. We're going to go check out the arch just, just around the corner here. Next week, Chad is back to take us on another of our 50 trails in 50 weeks as he takes a trip down to Left Hand Call It Loop. Then, Reese Stein is showing off how one growing town is dedicated to protecting its wildest places as he shows off one of the many trails in Scottsdale, Arizona. And finally, Nick Chase is taking to the skies to show off some amazing beauty as he takes us to the 2021 Kanab Bloom Festival. Now let's take a look at our contest winner. This week's contest winner was submitted to us on Facebook by Russ Stuckey. Congratulations Russ, it looks like you're the lucky winner of a Mountain Series stove from Camp Chef. Camp Chef offers the best way to get your cooking done in the outdoors. Visit CampChef.com for more information and be sure to call us on Monday at 801 947-8888 to claim your prize. Well, next week's show looks great, and we've really enjoyed the Little Creek Trail today. You know, when you're driving between St. George and Kanab, and you're passing Apple Valley, there's that, there's that ridge right on the right-hand side of the road. Well, we're up on top of that ridge right now, and there's so much cool stuff to see up here. We want to thank our guides from the Tri-State ATV Club for showing us around, but also want to thank our machine sponsors, Southern Utah Adventure Center. They always hook us up really nicely. Thanks Chad Dalton crew for the great talent today. Remember to check our website www.outsiders.zone where these trails will be uploaded throughout the year and you can come and see this too. And as you're out and enjoying Utah, remember that there's adventure around every bend. You just have to get out there and create it yourself at, at your, your leisure. leisure.